Hi, my name's Steve, and this is my better, Jose. Let me put his little scrap of mirror out here. He'll wake up a little bit. Jose usually just stares at me. So anyway, me and Jose want to weigh in on how big a container has to be to keep a better healthy and happy. Jose and I share an office. I bought Jose at a big box pet store on New Year's Day 2019. He was one of about 200 bettas slowly dying in their little plastic tubs at Petco that day. Today is July 3rd, 2019, so Jose and I have shared this office for six months. He's about 50% bigger today than he was when I got him. I used to keep fancy goldfish in the office, but since I don't have a sink in here, the maintenance was just too much work. So Jose lives in a one-gallon bowl, which he shares with a plastic temple dancer and a pothos plant. The plant does a pretty good job of keeping down ammonia, CO2, and nitrates. I never clean the temple dancer, so I think she provides surface area for beneficial bacteria, not enough surface area to completely eliminate nitrites, so I clean the bowl on Mondays and Thursdays. On Thursday, I just do a light vacuuming with, ta-da, the turkey baster. And on Monday, I use the turkey baster, and that gets out all the particulate matter on the bottom of the bowl. And then I use this scrubber to, to clean the inside of the bowl. And that process takes about 75% of the water out, which I replace from a gallon jug that I keep under the desk. So it's the same temperature as the water I'm replacing. Also, I use the dirty water, pardon this camera move, to feed my plants, and they love it. <laughs> These were all little teeny tiny plants when I brought them in here. Any plant will love aquarium water out of any aquarium. I'm going to take away his uh, mirror now, because you can see him. The lights are on a timer. They go on at 7 in the morning. They go off at 9 in the evening. And they're just the regular office lights. They're not grow lights. I feed Jose once a day with a commercial bed of food I bought the same day I bought Jose. I reckon at the rate we're going, this container should last us another 20 years. So, Jose is apparently healthy and apparently happy as far as fish can express emotion. He watches me work all day long. Seriously. He sits on the temple dancer's shoulder like a parrot and stares at me all day. My job is much more interesting to Jose than it is to me. He also enjoys playing with his scrap of mirror for about five minutes every day. So here's my opinion. You could keep a betta in a thimble if you were fastidious about keeping the water clean. I don't think fish suffer much from boredom. After all, Jose's brain is only the size of a grain of sand. But a container with clear sides and some decor is more interesting to me. And certainly he's in a better place than where I found him. So sometimes I wonder, is it more cruel to keep him in a bowl all day or to keep me in this cubicle all day? Honestly, some days I really envy Jose. Let's zoom in a little bit, if it'll stay focused. So that's Jose in his one-gallon bowl. Thanks for watching.